Good morning. It is tournament day. Gonna do a little blend. It is 3.30 in the morning. I'm not a morning person. I'm gonna tell you guys that right now. Right now. I'm actually gonna use this one. Put the other one in my bag. This is Ghost Hydrator. Boom. It is 3.45. We're about to head out the door. Is that not the best timing? What? Yeah. What is up, guys? Welcome back to the Brave Angler. So, like Caroline said, it is 3.45, and we're off to our very first tournament on Lake Yale. It's way too early in the morning. We stayed up way too late getting rods and reels and some other little surprises on the boat that we will show you here in a second. Uh, but... Everything's pretty much packed up, so we're going to go ahead and put the dogs up and then start heading out to Lake Yale. It's too early for this. Yeah, it is. Our first stop, and Caroline's back there putting our lights up. So far, we're definitely the slowest boat. <laughs> but we're going to find out today if knowledge and experience will beat electronics and fancy equipment. What do you think? We got it? She's confident, don't worry. All right, guys, we're going to start off with the hard jerk bait. Caroline's probably going to start off with the soft jerk bait. See if we can't catch some numbers here right quick. At least get a bag and then we can work on upsizing. You know what? I'm gonna throw. Dude, I just saw one jump right here. Gotta work with what we got. I need a, I need a tie on a sexy shad. Got one. All right. He's a little one, but can you give me the pliers, please? Put him in uh, your right side. That's gonna be the small guys. That's a one pounder.
Hopefully we can upgrade him a little bit. This uh, this sexy shad right here is just good luck. It's all beat up from bowfin, pickerel. You know what I mean? But it's just good luck. Let's do this last cast and we're coming up into somewhere juicy where they keep jumping. Number two. We're definitely gonna have to upgrade these fish. <laughs> Put him in uh, two as well. So we're up to two pounds. Oh, hole in one. There we go. Yeah. You just skip under there? Yeah. Look at you. What do you know about them skipping skills? Guess it's not going to be this dock. On to the next one. I'll try skipping on the front of it, I guess. I hope you guys can see the skip in action because I am normally not this good. And by the way, this rod right here is actually the one that is our giveaway. And as you guys can see, if you're into skipping, easy rod to skip. Skips like a dream, even with this really cheap reel. Oop. How the I don't think that's a bass. It just it just literally ate my hook and everything. Yeah, it completely uh bent my line off. I need the hooks. Caroline. Hooks on jerk bait, please. A big one. Bigger. Oh guys. <sighs> It has been a long day and we finally got one we can use. Do not let him fall back in the water. Ow, don't chop me. Oh, off the chatter bait. Honestly guys, nothing has worked today. Like we caught a couple small ones off sexy shad early in the morning, but as I promised, we got a new trolling motor. Well, I didn't promise you guys that, but that is what the new upgrade is on swamp bass that is making all this possible. Two more to go. Yeah, we did. Let's go over to these, this cover. Maybe we can get a couple small ones. Swim 
dig. Hopefully the same as us. Whole lot of nothing. Oh, I love jigs. Another two pounder. We're, we're floating into the abyss. Freaking love jigs. All right guys, so we just got done fishing our tournament and you know, I actually think we didn't do that bad. Um, you know, out of 10 boats, we were able to get sixth place. Um, unfortunately, uh, the fish just weren't biting like they were when we were practicing. It was a, a very hard day of fishing. We managed to get four fish that totaled in five pounds, four ounces. And uh, yeah, we didn't come in last. Uh, <laughs> Three boats caught nothing, and then one, the boat behind us caught four pounds, then uh, three caught 11 pounds, and then... One and two caught over 20 pounds, but well, they... Well, no, two got 19, Yeah. and then first place was the pro that came from Orlando. He yeah. got 28 pounds. Uh, nine ounces. It was crazy. <laughs> I mean, but like, here's the thing. So as you guys know, you guys have seen swamp bass. We have very minimal technology and we are not familiar with Lake Yale. We've only actually been there twice to practice. Mm -hmm. And the so, weather was so weird. It, it was like we had a cold front come in. So like the fish were shocked and we really just didn't have the knowledge of the lake to be able to know uh, I actually found out after we got off the lake that the the sauce there is the shell beds But we just don't have the technology to find the shell beds, you yeah. know without spending Hours out there on that water. I didn't catch anything. So Stevie held the team down Which, so. is, which is abnormal because that first practice I couldn't <laughs> land a fish Except for those two fish, but but like I said, guys, we had a lot of fun. Um, it's probably gonna be a while before we do another tournament just because we were definitely the smallest boat out there. Like was everyone windy. was rocking 20 foot boats, had forward facing sonar. And it's not that we don't think that we can win against forward facing sonar. However, we are talking about uh, plans in the future no. No. of doing tournaments that are more local with boats that are more comparable to what we have we weren't in, we weren't expecting a pro with like five giant screens to show up so maybe our next one we can do for charity and make me feel a little bit better than just handing a pro fisherman you know 50 bucks but uh uh i feel a little bit better if my money went to charity yeah. Um, or we could do one of our local ones that we know the boats are a little bit more comparable to ours so i don't believe that you necessarily have an advantage if you have forward facing sonar versus someone that has knowledge of the lake so what since we don't have it what we need to do is spend more time practicing on these lakes figuring out a pattern for that lake before we try to go against these big boys with all the technology because you can beat them guys i'm telling you you can beat them it's just going to take a lot more work and a lot more hours on that body of water to figure out a pattern that is foolproof and even that will change from day to day so you have to have a couple you know plan b's unfortunately our plan a our plan b and plan c did not work out all at all today <laughs> so i mean but like i said it's just going to be better luck next time 
If you guys wanna see more videos like this, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. We absolutely enjoyed ourselves. We had a lot of fun. It was a little stressful, but this was just our first tournament. And like I said, we didn't do too bad. We're hoping to get in another one soon. We got a lot of cool stuff for you guys on the way. Coming up in January, we're gonna be having our New Year's fishing challenge kicking off and you guys can absolutely join us with this. Super excited about it. Um, we'll be talking about it more as January comes uh, next week. Crazy. But um, until next time. Now go catch a fish. <laughs>